welcome to my 2022 apartment tour. That you guys expected the cringiness from me. Come in. Happy New Year and welcome to my 2022. That's the first video of any new year that I've actually said the correct year. Love that for me. Apartment tour, which you guys have been asking for for months, and I feel a little guilty that I'm only getting to it now, but it's fine. We're here, we're doing it, let's go. First things first, I have my little entryway, which I feel like this is just actually my dump zone. I literally just put crap here that I don't know where else to put it in my apartment. To the right of my front door, this is kind of like Kane's section. So we have Kane's toilet, Kane's bathroom, which is always a lot cleaner than mine. And because it's at the front door, it honestly makes me feel a little bit guilty because I see it all the time and I realize that he's a lot tidier than I am. So I have that constant guilt every time I walk into the apartment, but that's fine. It's fine. The laundry, which if I'm being 100% honest, it never looks like this. We cleaned it specifically for this video. So please take in what is once in a blue moon our clean laundry. On the other side of the entry, we have the movie room. Last December, we did a room makeover in here. It was pretty much just empty office space. We have this little projector set up. I put Shrek on because that's my favorite movie of all times. We do want to sell this TV cabinet because it's kind of just taking up space at this point. Over here, we have this little Kmart lamp, which is really pretty because it makes the walls have this pattern on them. This bar cart, which has alcohol in it that's definitely out of date. We don't drink that. A bunch of books down here. This this is usually stocked up with candy, but to be honest, when it is stocked, it will be eaten by me. So I have a problem with keeping it unstocked until it really needs to be. Here, I have a broken ukulele. I think my apartment might be a little bit too hot, so it always like snaps off this thing that holds the strings up. As you can see, the room is not that big. So for seating, we just did two bean bags, and then we always bring in like a bunch of pillows and blankets, so it's super cozy. And then the rug is from West Elm, which honestly, I've had this rug for the longest time. It just keeps getting moved from room to room to room. And what I love is these little tables that are really short. I thought they were perfect to sit like popcorn, drinks, whatever on. Kane thinks that this is the best purchase of 2020. We got a popcorn machine, which does actually get used. I always forget that we have it, but sometimes Kane will just start making popcorn. It makes the apartment smell like so freaking good. I did want to channel real cinema vibes, so we set up this curtain wall, and then behind it we have like a bunch of fairy lights. This panel, the fairy lights broke, so we took them down. They were from like cotton on, so don't really recommend. Kane has something to say, y'all. Normally when the lights go the whole way along, it doesn't look like this. It was really whimsical and pretty at yeah, first. I didn't do the lights properly and I'm noticing now. <laughs> we have the Ikea dresser, which I feel like everyone on YouTube has. And then I ended up putting my own handles on them. But fun fact, these handles don't work. Oh, the first time they've ever worked when I'm trying to prove they don't work. They're not like secured in there properly. So normally they just like rip off. However, when I'm trying to show that of course they work. Coming down here from the entryway, we have the storage closet. I covered it in book pages, which was very controversial, but I think it's time to take it down. It's been probably a year and I'm a little sick of it. This storage closet is packed right now of things that we want to sell, PR packages that I didn't know where to put while I filmed this video, and honestly, stuff that doesn't look that cute for the apartment tour. As you come down here, we have just like some more storage, and then this is kind of the now office slash depop room slash I don't know a little bit of storage. <laughs> I have this clothing rack which is basically stuff that I've already uploaded onto my depop account. We have a whiteboard which hasn't been in action for a while. In this little corner we kind of dump all of the filming supplies so just like tripods, ring lights. We have this which is like a stabilizer which is what all of the pretty shots are filmed on Why you guys are watching this. These shelves are from Ikea. They're a little unstable <laughs> if I'm being honest. We have more depop stuff stuff that's already been uploaded. Check out my Depop if you guys haven't already. I have a bunch of stuff on there right now. We have some Nowadays packages. And then lastly, we have Tim's desk area, which is just, I don't know. We tried to make this place cute, but it's just an office. This is Kane's room. Actually, you should do the room tour for your own room. <laughs> Take it away, Pasta. This is my room. We did 
a room makeover print walls which you can't really miss that's our prints from nowadays I feel like it just changed the entire room and it feels so big and spacious and I've got the same bed frame but a queen from my old room I just wanted a really small desk because I didn't want it to take up too much room and have like heaps of walk space because as a kid I never had much room I can relate I had no walking space in my childhood bedroom either and like with a desk the desk was like touching the bed yes that's literally it <laughs> tell us about your clothing rack back here what about it <laughs> you love a little bit of color the mirror from Target Sarah also bought me a cactus that is the exact same one as this one from Ikea but it's not plastic eventually when it grows enough I want to replace it and have a real plant in here and as you guys already know these prints in the room are from our brand nowadays we have international shipping and I'm sure Sarah will link it down below if not grill her and <laughs> she'll put it in there <laughs> all in all Kane has the most aesthetic room for selfies I am an irritation to his life because I always want to come in here and take pictures and now for our living area we actually want to film a full-on living room makeover this month so this is probably going to change when we first come in we have this section which no one in the apartment is really happy with but this is clothing that I haven't uploaded onto my depop yet we have a plant we have a guitar that never gets played I'm glad you can admit it I I think we need to put like a big dresser here and then maybe like a mirror would be cute. But Kane doesn't agree with that, so I don't know. <laughs> Over here we have another desk which doesn't really get used, so it kind of just ends up as another junk space. This desk is from Ikea and then we just have this like acrylic chair which I think was from Target but I'm not 100% sure. Not in love with this. We have this table that we covered in like a marble wrap. This is from Ikea. These chairs, I don't know where they're from but I wouldn't recommend them to anyone because they're literally so uncomfortable. We always have to put cushions on these chairs to sit down because they're so painful. You get like the lines all over your legs. And then another West Elm rug. Then we have the kitchen. right in the middle so you have the living area over here dining area over here and if people are just like in those spaces it feels like we're all hanging out even if it's unintentional but anyway we have an island in the middle we covered this with like a plastic wrap plastic wrap i meant to say marble wrap but you can see the color under here that it used to be super dark i don't love the wrap because it does get kind of like cut up and damaged and there's nothing you can really do about it but i like that it makes the space brighter i will give you guys the quickest look at the pantry but it's not in the best condition so <laughs> that's the pantry so bad. <laughs> does it really yeah. it kind of looks more like a trash room we have the fridge which we covered in these polary pictures and we'd actually done this in like i think our last two apartments which didn't really matter that much we didn't think about it because our apartments were a lot darker there wasn't as much sun coming into them but now the polaroids are like faded so i'm gonna take them all down fridge freezer could be better organized. <laughs> Over here we have our Smeg kettle and toaster. In hindsight, I wish I had have got the like creamy white color because it would have been a lot more cuter and just like universal for all the different aesthetics that are gonna happen over the next couple of years. But anyway, dead succulents, dead banana something plant. We have some cookbooks, this water that no one ever drinks out of that has a charcoal filter in it that everyone also thinks is a sex toy in some water, which I'm not sure why people think that I would do that. I literally thought Sarah had a sex toy being cleaned out in the kitchen this one day. Like, I was like, what the f is that? So that's what people think of me. <laughs> and then over here, everyone's favorite thing in the apartment, the coffee machine. And also this drawer that is like yellow stained. It just started gradually happening like a couple of weeks after we moved into the apartment. Next to the kitchen, we have this open space, which we did have the dining area here for a little while, but I just didn't love it. So we just put a mirror, a little table that we made. We actually made this in a video so if you guys want to see how to make it i'll link the video down below some vases this cute little plant and a very 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 heavy pot that literally i can't lift on my own over this side we have this little chair which never used to get used but now people sit on it and it makes me so happy we are still deciding whether to replace this with something that's a little bit more neutral simple minimal we have a few more nowadays prints up on the wall and then 
then the boys have a, a literal garden over here. For the living area, which is a little bit of a work in progress as well. Honestly, I probably wouldn't have filmed this video because I don't think that the apartment is ready and how I want it to be. But I also don't think that it's ever gonna be ready and how I want it to be and everyone keeps asking me for this. So this is it right now. I'll probably have to film an update in like six months. We have all the nowadays prints, which again are available. I'll link down below. We have international shipping, different size print packs. So make sure to check it out. We have a stay bed, which Kane and I decided the other day that we're gonna sell because it's cute, but it's not our aesthetic anymore. And we would put it outside, but it doesn't have a back. So can't really like lean up on anything. And then this is our little seating area. This couch is from Ikea. So initially I was like, I don't think that I could have a white couch because I'm gonna get that dirty, which I do all the freaking time, but it's really easy. You can just take the covers off, throw them in the washing machine. I can hear it making this like squeaking noise right now. Can you? <laughs> yeah. We have two little side tables that came in a set because I don't know why this is so satisfying. They're stackable. <laughs> These were just from Kmart. They were super cheap. I think they were like $40. The rug is also from Kmart. Actually, these candles are also from Kmart. They're just, oh, I don't think this one works. <laughs> They're just battery powered. They need new batteries. <laughs> Over here, we have the TV on this TV stand that Kane bought me for either my birthday or Christmas last year. I can't remember. We normally have this in the bedroom, but sometimes we move it out here. A mirror, Kane's cactus. But I do prefer it when the TV isn't here because I love opening up these doors it just kind of feels like you're outside and this is my balcony but i feel very shy if my neighbors can hear me coming through into my bedroom clothing rack. This is the overflow from my closet, which doesn't have any more space for anything. So that's what this is. And then Tim has this tiny section just here. Very small. Look at that. That's like all these clothes. I have this little brown chair here, which was from Kmart. I think it was like really affordable, like $40 or $50 or something. Kane will sit here while we all have like a Love Island watching party. Kane's just like, the wind is whistling. Can you guys hear that? It's so loud! I have these lamps which used to be hooked up to Alexa. Don't ask Kenny about that though because he's been trying to fix it for me and here's my bed which I have so many different sheets and stuff to put on there but at the end of the day white wings it always looks the best and I have this little macrame that I made in a DIY video. I hate this bed head but it's fine. I mostly hate it from the struggle that it took putting it together. If you know you know. Over this side we have some more prints up here. I have this little mirror which I used to take cute little morning selfies with every single morning and post them on my Instagram story. I just don't have that effort inside me. And then this like shelf situation that I got from Target which is super cute. I have this arch mirror. I don't know where that came from. Lots of books. My makeup caddy and then down here is where I keep all of like the makeup that I don't use on a daily basis. And this rug by the way she's from Kmart. Coming into here we have my closet. It used to just be like this without the curtains but Kane built this situation so I could have curtains because I just think it's a lot cuter especially if you're not the best at keeping your closet clean. So here it is. Unfortunately, I was too lazy to make it look cute for this video. So here is the raw, what my closet looks like, which is actually pretty good. It's not an accurate representation of how it looks most of the time, but it's pretty good. This is my bathroom. Probably not gonna film in here for too long because lighting is super yellow and a little bit weird. The mirror is molding, which is really cool. Love that. That's my favorite feature of the bathroom. Maybe I can show you in here. So why aren't you showing the other side, pal? The other <laughs> side, unfortunately, cannot be shown for personal reasons. <laughs> Let me know if you guys do want me to film at the living room makeover. I'm gonna go eat. Goodbye.